Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video is going to review the item view under the Explore menu in Inventory Management. Launching the task is going to display two grids, a primary up on top and a secondary on the bottom. The columns that are displayed are controlled by right-clicking, coming to Column Settings, and you could deselect the ones you're not interested in seeing, and you can come to the Add button to add fields that are found in the item, product line, extended description, and vendor file. When we're looking at the secondary grid, we're seeing the item transactions for this particular item. Down at the bottom of our page, I'm seeing that I have 83 rows in my primary grid and 229 rows in my secondary grid. I'm seeing item transactions based on the selection made on my side panel. It's, it's defaulting to the item transactions. But I can also see the item quantities by warehouse, the sales order line items, so here I'm seeing all the sales orders that this appears on. Clicking on purchase order line items, I'm seeing each purchase order where this appears. And lastly, I can see which items have been purchased, which vendors this item has been purchased from. Let's come back to item transactions. If I double click on this first line, it is now going to bring the secondary grid up to the to be the primary grid and I have a di different secondary grid. Within this, I can do many things. I can create filters and let's say I only want to see transactions from warehouse 000. I can come to Filter Builder and let's change the filter to say, let's remove the item here and let's say we want to know the transaction type and we only want to see what's in sales orders. Now you can see I have some different filters. This little button has uh, now appeared that allows me to go back and forth between the two different filter sets that I have. If I do another filter set, I would be able to go between all three or as many as you choose. That filter set only remains while I'm in this particular session. I've made some changes here and I can choose to save it and I'm just going to call it test. And now when I come back to this, I, can, I would be, my default is going to be standard, but I can alternately choose the test. Let's come back to our primary grid, and let's see another option we have by choosing tasks. If I click on item maintenance, I will be able to come into the standard item maintenance screen, make any changes that I need or any review that I need, and then once exiting out, I'm back to my grid. If I've made any changes, I would need to hit the refresh button to see those changes. I can also launch the task for our inventory transaction, sales order, purchase orders, and bill of materials. If I make um, uh, any changes on this, let's say I want to get rid of product line and I'm not interested in seeing product line, I could simply uh, just remove that by dragging it away. I can also say I want to subtotal things by valuation methods and now I have a sort here by valuation and I actually have some options for subtotaling. Now in this case the only thing I could subtotal is perhaps account. I'm going to uh, right click on here and you can see the options that I have. I can count. If they were numeric fields, I would actually be able to create subtotals. Something else that's important is coming up to the file menu up here. I have some export options. I could send it to Access, Excel, Word. Uh, another popular one is coming, bringing it to a text file, meaning comma delimited or tab delimited. And I can also send the page by email.
If I select email, this is going this uh, the primary grid is going to show in the body of my email, and this would bring up my Outlook. There's so many things to try here in uh, this particular view that uh, I think it's aptly named Explorer. There's so many things you want to try all of the different icons, all of the different menu items to see how this could be a valuable tool for your company. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Thanks for watching our video.